Hey folks, Species7 here, and welcome back to the channel. I have something a little different for you today. And, uh, yeah, this is Minecraft, which, uh, for my channel, is certainly a different thing. Well, unless you, uh, actually go all the way back to my very first videos, and you'll see I actually started my channel with Minecraft, as so many people do. But this isn't really Minecraft. This is Terra Firmacraft. It is actually a modified form of Terra Firmacraft. It is Technode Firmacraft, to be exact, and, uh is available through the AT Launcher, which I will leave a link for down below. Now, Terra Firmacraft is often referred to as Minecraft Survival Mode the way it should have been. And there's pretty good reason for that. Terra Firmacraft is just bloody balls hard, all right? There's no two ways around it. This is a game that uh, it should be far enough. Is going to frustrate you and make you die a lot, and then just when you think you have the hang of it, something nasty like winter will roll along and wipe you out. So what's so tough about Terra Firmacraft? Everything looks pretty normal. I seem to be living quite the life of Riley here, in fact. Well, I'm not. And have, since I started this game, about 10 days Minecraft time ago, I've actually been living in here. And every night I crawl back in here, and I can't get that gravel. And uh, that's where I stay. And I sit in here all night <laughs> and wait for the bad guys to go, go away. Because you'll notice I don't have a sword, and there's a good reason I don't have a sword. I'll put my torches back up. And that is because you can't actually make one. Not in Terra Firmacraft. Not for probably your first week at least. You need to explore to survive in this game. And explore and explore and explore. And once you think you have an oh good. An absolutely full inventory and can explore no more. Then find a place to settle a little shack. And by a little shack, I mean something like this. The only important things you need are clay, fresh water, and some kind of food. But the food will come. Um, because you can starve to death, you can die of thirst. And, well, without clay, you'll never get out of the Stone Age. And that's where you start in Terra Firmacraft. For instance, let's say I wanted to chop down a tree, and uh, here's me little stone axe. And, uh, well, here's an oak tree. And in Terra Firmacraft, the entire tree comes down, by the way. That's why I haven't made it through this one. It's actually destroying the entire tree. But, oh look, my axe broke. Well, simple enough. All you need is a couple of sticks and three pieces of cobblestone. Well, I've been playing for 12 days, 10 days at least, and you know what? I still cannot harvest cobblestone. It is an impossibility for me. So what do I do now that my axe broke? Well, you do something called napping. All over the ground, you'll find these chunks of stone, just whatever is native to the area, in this case, rhyolite rock. All right, now, I just picked that one up, but I also opened the window because I've got, there we go. So, let's pick that one up. Now, if you have some in your hand, and you right-click, you get this. This is your crafting method for Terra Firma Craft. Now, because I'm running a pack, I do have NEI. You'll also notice that I have a uh, journey map and a bunch of other things. So, anyway, back to our axe. You do what's called napping. You chip away at this guy until you have an axe head. This happens to be an axe head. See? One stone axe head. And then, you can go into your crafting grid, which is only 2x2, two two, and will be, again, for a very long time. And with one stick and your beautiful stone axe head, you make a stone axe. Now, we can go back over to Mr. Tree. 
and finish chopping him down. All of your tools, of which there aren't that many, are made that way, as long as you're in the Stone Age. Now to advance out of the Stone Age, you need to find clay. Once you find clay, things get a little different. Now, here's some clay. So let's put clay in my hotbar. Oops, I'm starting a little hungry. And uh, that's something else that's radically different. I think I'm going to have some protein, actually. That's radically different in this game. If I go in here, and just to get any eye out of the way, I'm going to uh, look for something that starts with red exon. And there's nothing good, because that uncovers the rest of my tabs here, and they're the important part. Here's my inventory. That's where we are now. This is your skills, and as you get better, things get easier, right? Um, as you can see, my agricultural skill is getting right up there. I'm almost past the novice stage, and that means my stuff will grow quicker, and I'll find more of it. Is it dark? I need to get heck out of here. Oh, wait a minute. No, I put it on peaceful mode so that I can demonstrate the game without getting killed. Um, our next one down gives you the day and the time. Oh, I have been. I've been playing for 13 days. And then is your health. Now, here you'll notice, now, I'm at 834 of 834 health, all right? But if these bars were all full, I would be at over a thousand of a thousand health. Okay, um, mainly all I've been finding is fruits and vegetables. I'm not yet in a position where I can do anything with grains because I have to, well, I have to cut the grain up and then I have to grind the grain and then I have to process the grain and then I have to cook the, yeah, it's a long thing. Protein, I'm down a bit. Dairy, well, I have no way to get milk yet. So my dairy issues are going to be a little rough for a while, but I can improve my protein. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat me a piece of chicken. Now, nothing in this world, as far as I know, except for this, grass respawns. If you kill a pig or you kill a chicken, it's gone. And it's gone for good. So, I'm going to eat me some chicken. Medium well chicken in this case. Okay, I didn't have a lot of it. But, if we go back in here now and look here, you'll see that my protein bar is up. All right, so that's starting to move in there. That's the first protein I've eaten in a while. Uh, do I have anything else? Ooh, I have cooked pork medium well. No, oh, but it's decaying badly, so it's starting to rot. So I'm gonna need to, you see what I have here is a piece of uh, medium well cooked pork but it weighs 118 ounces. Unfortunately, it's 20% decayed, so I need to chop the rot off it. So I do that by putting it with a knife. You'll see it's now down to 91 ounces. So yeah, 20% of that meat I just threw away because it was rotten. But now I'm gonna eat this because it's really good. All right, now I'm much more much happier. My protein levels come up. Now it comes up slowly. This isn't going to fill just because my food bar did. That's the first protein I've eaten in days. I've been eating nothing but veggies and fruit. Because, uh, oh, hi Mr. Pig. Because like I said, you don't want to go killing pigs. So until I can get animals here, and that's a big process, I don't want to be killing off any of them that do wander by. So, I showed you how to make an axe. That's, you can make an axe. A knife, here I've got them down here, a stone knife, a stone javelin, which is your only weapon at this point, and it breaks after like three hits, and a stone hoe so that you can do things like gardening. Ta-da! And that's all you can do basically with your stone. Anything beyond that, like you'll notice I'm still not living in a proper shelter, that's because unless I want to use whole logs like you see here, these uh, particular birch logs. You have no way of making planks until you make a saw. To make a saw, you need clay. All right, so let's have a look at clay. Let's open my inventory. Let's get rid of my pork chops. I'm going to have a sip of water here, though, first, because I am rather thirsty. To drink water, you it must be fresh water, and then you right-click on it, 
and it'll make slurpy noises and you see my little blue bar is filling up. The other way you can drink water, and that takes forever, and when you're out in the wild, that means something can sneak up behind you and kick your little bum into oblivion. And they will do it in like two hits. I have 840 health, uh, a skeleton's arrow will knock about 100 plus off of me. Yeah. So it gives you an idea, the damage things are way up, but so are the hits. So, now that's one way to drink water, the other way is out of a clay jug or a water jug. Which brings us back to clay. So, let's take our clay. Alright, now the same process as you did with the stone, except the parts you take away are a mold. Because you're going to, um, for a lot of these, for some of the stuff like water jugs, and certain containers, clay vessels, you're actually making the item out of clay. So let's say I wanted something to store things in. I can't make a chest because I can't make planks. So what I can do though is make one of these. This is a clay vessel. It'll only hold four items, but it will hold four items. All right. Now let's go back in here. Oops. You have to go to a new piece of clay now. Um, what else would we maybe want to build ourselves some of? Uh, well, you can't get enough of those, so I'm going to put a couple of those in. Alright. And let's do, I guess... Well, I probably don't need another water jug. But let's go with a... Oops, I keep forgetting you got to actually... There we go. Let's go with a big clay container. Alright, large vessel. Okay. And I'm going to go with one more of the. Oh, I messed it up. So we'll go with another one of these <laughs> rather than waste the clay because clay isn't. Uh, it isn't everywhere. And as I said, I have actually. Well, I guess I didn't tell you guys. I loaded four worlds. I'm going to make one more jug or one more small vessel. Four different worlds that I spent hours in. Two of them I ended up not playing in because I simply went as far as I could and could find no clay. One of them I quit because I could find no food. So random worlds in this game can be a curse. It took, like I said, four different worlds to get me something where I managed to find clay and enough food to survive for a day or two till I could get some crops planted. These crops, by the way, they're going to take a couple of months to grow. All right. This is a pit. I know it's a hole in the ground, but it's also called a pit. All right. And what we're going to do with this pit is throw all this stuff in it that I just made. Well, throw. <laughs> we're going to uh, kind of place them in there, as it were. And three. And four. Then, we're going to come over here. This is thatch. Um, thatch is grass. There we go. Well, I'm actually going to need a couple more. That you cut down with your knife. Six, seven, and eight. There we go. Yeah, you just simply take your knife out and if you attack any grass, okay, it turns into straw. If you put four straw together, you get thatch. However, what we actually want is straw. So we're going to make straw out of this. So once you got your item in there, I might as well do all of these guys up while I'm at it. Now, the big containers take a pit of their own, so something to keep in mind. And crouch and right-click to place them in so you don't break them. They are, after all, just clay. All right, now what we want to do is take straw and put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. 
Now we need to do the same thing with logs. So I'm going to need two oh, and three. There we go. Three sets of eight logs. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, crafting is quite a process in this thing. There we go. Now what I need to do is light those on fire. What's the issue? Well, it's freaking raining. So uh, they won't stay lit. <laughs> I don't have, you don't have things like stone ovens, no. So I can, with a handy dandy fire starter made of two sticks thusly, make campfires and I can also light those although they're not going to do me a lot of good but um, if you want to cook food or let's say make glass here's a fire pit now I'm gonna hit it no because it's raining it's not gonna let me light it no it's got no logs in it that's why there we go. Right click on it. Let's drop some logs in. There we are. Now it's got to be a fire. Well, there we are. That's all it was. I'm sorry. I, I guess they don't stay in there when you log out. So now if I right click on it, you'll see we have... Yeah, I don't know that it's going to keep going. That should have gone up in temperature. Let's say I wanted to make glass. If I put a piece of sand in there... Yeah, it's not going to work. See, our fire's gone out from the rain. So this is something you've got to put up with in Terra Firmacraft. If it rains, you're pretty much hooped. Now, because we're doing a Let's Play, <laughs> I'm not going to... Uh, let's add Cheat Mode Global. Let's go into Cheat Mode and add that and that. There we go, that back. Now, let's uh, turn the rain off <laughs> and set the time to dawn. There we are. Look, it's a pretty new day. Now, let's light this fire. There we go. Make sure she's lit. Go to an empty hand. Ah, this has come up off the bottom now. So, let's make some glass. We should be able to do it. Ah, there. See, warming. Now it's hot. And we'll get five dots of hot very hot you get five dots of that and it will continue and continue etc etc now you cannot stack things in here so if i want to make eight windows i got to do this individually and if things get too hot they're gone <laughs> although i think with glass it'll actually there yeah once it actually becomes glass it will drop there so now, making glass is kind of pointless because, uh, well, <laughs> simply put, I have no building to put it into right now. But uh, this heat will now start to drop down. Because just like your furnace, once you take all your coal out, it burns up the last piece and then it's done. So very hot, yeah, that's as far as it's going to get. You see our temperature is dropping. And this will start to cool as well. So, And as I put it in my inventory, you'll see it... Uh, it is very hot, it's starting to cool, and it will sit in your inventory and cool off. See, now it's hot, and it'll go through all those stages. So that's how you use that particular thing. In a similar way, we now need to light these on fire. Come on, baby. It's soaking wet, because I built it before the rain. There we go. And fires, oops. Okay, that can be an issue if you're... Uh, starter breaks you'll end up clicking and picking things up there we go never ever light one of these if you're not in an absolutely clear area because fires will light here and they will get out of control so fast your head will spin i kid you not so it takes i believe yeah eight hours of minecraft time for these to burn down so yeah Here's some of these clay vessels, and if I pick one up, there we go, you'll see that this one contains 10 blueberries and 5 orange berries. 
those are actually bushes. <laughs> so if I look inside it, I can take these out. And then I can go and plant them in the world. Now, food deteriorates, as I said, but having it in containers, or for that matter, any dry, dark place, will cause it to deteriorate far slower. Um, something to keep in mind. There we go. Always want to make sure all this stuff's planted. And these will not despawn, so you can simply place them down until you need them, and then pick them up and see what's in them. Ah, some hematite, native gold, native copper, and small bismuthite. These you will also find lying on the ground. That's part of the explorer thing. I spent, like I said, 10 days maybe, wandering. Okay, I'm getting hungry, so I got the little curly things coming up off me. And what have I got to eat? Well, I'll eat a little bit of cooked pork. Decay 0.3%. 0, 0.1, 0, 0.4. Now the other thing you can do, I believe it works. Okay, there we go. If you hold over a piece of food in your inventory and click D while you have a knife equipped, it will cut the decay from everything. You notice there's zero decay on these? Yeah, so <laughs> that works really well. Now we're gonna have a little bit of bean. I didn't have much, but that emptied out of my inventory some pork because our protein levels still need to catch up and because we're thirsty we'll have a shot of water see how much quicker that is than trying to drink out of here and then you simply click it in fresh water to fill it you can tell fresh water because it has reeds in it salt water will have things like kelp and all that and uh, yeah these guys are going to take a long time to cook out so what you do is what you do every single time you've got so much as a blank second this is how you get one way to get sticks in the game is pick them up off the ground always make sure you've got a good supply of sticks and rocks so and then yeah you uh this particular pack as i said it has journey map and there's a reason that i want that on this pack if you look you'll see i've got a fair few markers in the world and what most of these markers are, this is everywhere that I found, like copper, gold, bismuthite, bismuthite, sulfur. This is everywhere I found bits of ore laying on the surface. So you pick up the little bits that are there and then mark them. Because once you're actually at a point where you can mine, then you're going to need to go back here and dig in these areas to actually find the real deposits. I don't know why this part's blanked out when I uh, have obviously been here. Hmm. Odd. Really, really odd. No, it's just not going to show it. Isn't that odd? I don't recall a journey map ever behaving that way before. So as you can see, I've uh, been a fair ways and done a fair thing. So yeah, uh, even things like chickens, again, because they will not respawn, so if you find them, oh boy, oh boy, you can see there wasn't a lot. There's obviously something else down here, pigs. And there are a couple right around where I live. That's what these white dots are. And here's my home base. So having this is just, it is such a saving grace. Why all the jack-o'-lanterns? Well, because torches will go out in this, this particular game. In fact, these may... There you go. All these torches I had lit along my building, the rain put them out. Now, if you break them while they're out, it's gone. If you break them while you're lit, you'll get them back. If you want to relight them, just right-click them with a torch. Okay, the ones inside didn't get put out by the rain, but they will eventually go out all by themselves. So, yeah. <laughs> now, obviously, in peaceful mode right now, I don't need to worry about that shelter. But jack-o'-lanterns will not. So if you find pumpkins, collect all you can. In fact, in this game, collect all you can of everything. 
Now, I don't really want to wait for these to finish, so uh, let's go to dawn the next day, shall we? You'll see our kilns are now done. Oops, I'm also uh, starving to death. <laughs> and thirsty. Oops, I didn't want to place a straw. You'll notice beating the torch put it out. There we go. And I need some food. So I'm going to once again go for some of this pork and get my protein levels up there see now i just went to 841 from 836 that's because i've now permanently increased my health a little bit by balancing out my diet see my protein levels are now up at a point where they're balancing so yeah now our pits they're done and you'll notice I have something in my hand. There we go. That these things are now done. Now these large vessels are neat. If we uh, take and put one down, let's say over here, and access it, you get a choice. You can store liquids in it, or you can store nine items in it. And then you have the option to seal it or leave it open. So, very cool. Very, very cool. So I could store, like, all my precious ores in here, or, you know, something along that line, or all of my foods, right? So, a nice, dark sort of a place to store things, and then you could seal it, and the decay would slow right down. Now, don't put them in there if they're already starting to decay, because the process will simply continue. Uh, we can put that in there. We can put the Golina, some tetrahedrites, a piece of glass, some gravel. Sure, we'll put the rest of the set. But you get the idea, right? So you can store pretty much whatever you want in these guys. They hold a heck of a lot more than the other things. Now, you will find there are some things that it won't let you store. And, uh, well, <laughs> that's fine, too. I'm going to store my rest of my clay in there. There you go. So there's one of our items, and then uh, once again, blank hand, let's pick these up. So we got this guy, and then we have some more storage as well. You can also just break them. There we go. And that picks them all up. So there's, uh, oh, and that one's got all of the uh, little bits in it, which I will probably put into one of my larger stored containers, actually. Which I'm going to put over here on the other side of the fire. There. Now, let's take this, 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 and this out. And let's put them in here. Oops. <laughs> yeah. We kind of like to put there, there, there. That was to uh, how you would get the water in, or whatever liquid it is. If you wanted to use it for liquids, you would put it into that empty slot they showed. And that would allow you to do so. Alright, all of our special little metals are now there. And I'll store the rest of our jugs here. So we can store four to a square. That needs filled. There we go. And I have lots of storage containers. So that's kind of the way the way things go here. Now, of course, I made it look much easier because I've got just about every cheek turned on, you can imagine. You know, we are in peaceful mode, and uh, <laughs> you know, I got rid of the rain, but you're going to find things will happen. Like, you'll finally, you've, you've gone and you got your molds together, and you're about to make your first metal tool, and six times in a row when you light this kiln that gets put out by the rain at some point before the eight hours is done it'll happen it will happen <laughs> you know or uh, just a number of things like i said i played probably 10 hours before i settled onto a world where i could play another six or eight hours to get to this stage 
So, but there you go, guys. I sort of thought I'd give you a little bit of a look at what Terra Firmacraft is all about. And as I say, this is actually Technode Firmacraft. It is a complete pack with all kinds of mods from the uh, the normal modded Minecrafty stuff. Geez, these fruit trees grow strange, don't they? Get a little olive tree, plum, another olive. Yeah, but. Uh, you can see all of this stuff, like 15%. A week from now, that'll be at like 18%. So it takes a long time. But there you go, guys. If you'd like to see more of this, and I'd love to do a series on it, I really would, um, let me know. And we can certainly do that. Like I said, there's, uh, it's a really cool kind of a pack, and having this extra... The extra bits added on to it, as well as the Terra Firma craft, you basically take yourself from the Stone Age right up until you can, uh, you know, jetpack around. Yes, the Nether is included, but uh, you better believe it's going to be a while before you can do anything as fancy as uh, Break Obsidian, let me tell you. So, there we go. That's, uh, oh, here's a uh, Terra Firma craft chicken. Uh, animals are a completely different thing here too. You need to grow jute plants to make fiber to make rope and then you can gather animals and tow them back to your wherever you've got a fenced area for them and you must have males and females so that you can breed them and get offspring etc etc because it is the only way animals respawn in this game is if you breed them and successfully get offspring. So, that's, uh, again, something to keep in mind. <laughs> but there you go. That's been our look at Terra Firmcraft. Again, let me know down in the comments what you think. It is a really, really cool kind of exploration and survival game. So, till next time, this has been Species 7. If you liked it, please hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite and do all that YouTube-y stuff. And until next time, well, take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now. Hello, Mr. Piggy. Yeah, for once I'm playing Minecraft, and you don't have to worry about me chasing you down and sticking you with a big stick. <laughs>